hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we are going to derive Bohr's quantization principle which states that the angular momentum of an electron is equal to the integral multiple of h upon 2 pi h upon 2 pi is also written in h bar so in a very simple way you can say the angular momentum of an electron is equal to the integral multiple of h bar where h is a Planck's constant so how can we derive this relation okay so it was you know de Broglie Louis de Broglie who gave the wave mechanical model of atom and the wave description of particle and from that he actually deduced this formula so you know according to de Broglie wavelength or de Broglie hypothesis uh, the wavelength associated with any particle of mass m is equal to m v where m is the mass of particle and v is its velocity let's write it as or sometimes you write a h is, lambda is equal to h upon p so let this be equation 1 where p is the linear momentum equal to m v ok so what he told us is that in an atom suppose there is a nucleus at the center and there is an electron which is revolving around this electron all right so it will have a velocity v right it will be at a distance suppose at distance r all right so what he said that when electrons revolve in an atom or any electron revolving around the atom in its orbit actually exists as a standing wave it does not exist as a particle but it exists as a standing wave so suppose so this is our nucleus so this standing wave looks like this one okay this is a very rough diagram that illustrates the standing wave you know you are a family we may be familiar with the standing waves on a string it forms like this right something like this and if you join its two ends then it will become like this one okay so suppose that uh, the radius of this uh, atom is r so the length suppose this is a, a string right so the length of this string is equal to its circumference and this is actually 2 pi r you know from the theory of standing waves standing waves will be formed only when the length of the string is equal to the integral multiple of lambda it will not be the odd integral multiple of lambda because otherwise such waves will interfere destructively and will disappear so for the standing waves to be formed the length of the string or here the circumference of the orbit must be equal to the integral multiple of lambda where lambda is a wavelength or light so here now we have equation 2 okay so we are combining equation 1 and equation 2 so we have 2 pi r is equal to and we replace lambda by h upon p okay so nothing is to be cancelled so you know it is r p is equal to n h by 2 pi you know in circular motion p which is the m v and this is perpendicular to the radius and you know the angular momentum is actually written in r cross p and you can write it as because the value of theta look at here is 90 degree so nh upon 2 pi but we are simply writing the magnitude all right here we are simply writing the magnitude rp so this can also be written as mv r is equal to nh by 2 pi and this mvr is represented by l 
which is the angular momentum this is the magnitude of angular momentum so l is equal to nh by 2 pi right so that's it this is the bohr's postulate for angular momentum he didn't prove it he didn't even deduce it he just postulated it as a right as an assumption of his theory atomic theory we generally call it bohr's atomic theory so i hope you understood it i have explained it very clearly in this video so you can also take a screenshot thank you